Queen Athaliah ruled over the kingdom of Judah for six years, beginning in 842 BC. These were six years that the Jewish people would just as soon forget. Athaliah was a daughter of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel, the corrupt couple who ruled over Israel for 20 years. Sadly, the apple did not fall very far from the tree. During their reign, Ahab and Jezebel arranged for their daughter to marry King Jehoram of Judah so that they could exercise greater control over their weaker neighbor. Soon, Athaliah was promoting the Canaanite religion in the southern kingdom, just as her mother did in the north. Things got worse when King Jehoram died. Ahaziah, the son of Jehoram and Athaliah, became the king under the watchful eye of the queen mother. He reigned for only one year when he was killed while visiting the northern kingdom. Athaliah seized the opportunity and declared that she was in charge. She ordered the execution of any member of her family who might try to challenge her claim to the throne. Fortunately, a quick-thinking relative hid away Athaliah's one-year-old grandson, Jehoash, so that he would not be killed by the tyrannical queen. After six years of Queen Athaliah's rule, the royal family decided that they had had enough. Jehoash was brought out of hiding and declared king of Judah. Athaliah was expelled from the temple and put to death. Jehoash was only seven years old, but he was a far better ruler than his grandmother. And he had some wise and faithful counselors to help. The story of Queen Athaliah is a reminder of how avaricious, cruel, and corrupt some leaders can be. But the story is also a reminder that there are kind, generous, and faithful people too. Somehow, God is able to work through their lives to bring good out of some bad situations.